what's up? Mentioned not so long ago you wanted to meet? You and Joss? Yeah. Why, what? Got time? How's today sound? <laughs> Sounds perfect. I'm gonna go tell Joss. See ya. I think it was here. Right. I'll wait. Going. Over here. Glad you're here. You need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Uh, soy meat. Okay. Oh no. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This is an ancient Ward family secret. Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Let my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Honestly, thought you were kidding about the cook-off. Or that Joss had sweat away in the kitchen while... Ow. Joss doesn't know the first thing about cooking. Actually, I like to torture foodstuffs. <laughs> Haven't had many opportunities lately. Somehow look different than usual today. Is that so? Yeah. Different meaning normal. <laughs> As if you got a good night's sleep. Hmm. Well, wanted you to see this side of me too. A house? Randy holding up. He's looking for his old self. Physically, though, it'll be a long road before he's back to full health. And mentally, that was some experience. What Harris did to him, fucked as this might sound, might have helped the kid. Could be wrong, but feels like a clean break for him. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. 
That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. In those words, yeah. Wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. How you doing, Joe? And when can I visit again? I'll call you back later. Really nice of you to come. Thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy you had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's out back. You know, he can't seem to stop gushing about you. Basmati, nice. Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River. Oh, my parents died. Oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. We really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just... Harris. What did you do? Had the gun to his head and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But when now? You're not going back to the PD? PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we going to play, Uncle River? You'll see. Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set.
Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face El Chamuco and Diablado. Oh, he's the worst. But I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. All right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Navy, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. Watch out! It's cruise. Take that! He's hit! He's hit! Not half bad. Next round, next round! This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! Not half bad. Hey! I have better aim! Is ready. Uh, but mom, you almost had him. Oh, you'll get him next time. At least we beat the grown-ups. We're the best. Thanks for letting them win. They had fun. 
know, they're great kids. It's no problem. Seems they took a liking to you, too. Hey! Food's on the table. So, was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too! Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? Grew up in Haywood. Whole street was my family. Neighbors helped each other out. Thought nothing of it. Well, you brought my family back to me, and I'm grateful. If you say so, Joss. And my brother likes you. Joss? Well, why hide it? Probably asked you to say that himself, didn't he? Wow. How did she know? Come on, Joss. You don't see wedding bells in my future, surely? Why not? Who thinks me and Uncle River make a good couple? Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. This a romantic stroll, by chance? Not about to pick you flowers, if that's what you're asking. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. This way, I... oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just push. Uh, seems easier to open from that side. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Brandy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Out here you can't smell the shit corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit flush repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you.
Wow. What's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little at that. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. So I'm at a bar, and this gonk taps me on the shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. <laughs> What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I, sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. Oof. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was spilling. And then he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. Okay, last one was good. You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve somehow. Don't stand a chance, do I? Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. All right. We can still have a drink. Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. of the moon, and there's still no cure for hangovers. Well, at least we had fun yesterday. Yeah. Well, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush, either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. You sure you're good to drive? <laughs> Please. Former NCPD. <clears throat> I'm a pro on hangover highway. I'll be fine. 
Ah, uh, apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined at Dash yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Oh, shit. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. accounts out there are managed by AIs. You blink an eye and they've already bought and sold shares twice over in billion euro dollar deals. Not a bad looking clinic you got here. One of the best in the whole city. Surprised, eh? People think Pacifica is the third world. Children playing barefoot among ruin, but they can't see the strength that lies dormant here. <laughs> One day, they shall reckon with it. Looking to get chipped. Mm hmm, and? And what? You're a ripper, aren't you? Yes, for my people. I'll make it worth your while. Is that so? Worth it by how much?
Jenny. So? Got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? a and Artichokes and avocado flavor. And zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. Big days here. Sure is. Want to meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen, this will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice. Your rig or my beast? Let's go with mine. Got a better feel for it. No problem. We meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. Away from me, you whack. No remorse? Not a bit? None whatsoever. What's going on here? Samson, Dixbert thinks I'm gonna let him go. You're dead, you hear me? This your new driver? I'd get out while I could if I were you. Claire can't seem to keep her partners alive for long. You motherfucker! Truth is, Dean was as shit a husband as he was a driver. Head swelled lots larger than he could manage, and he paid for it. Face the facts. I didn't kill him. His ego did. You're a waste of organic matter, Samson. You're corpo trash. Got a dozen bullets with your name on them. Fuck off. Claire, enough. Come on. Not to worry, sugar. Do something for me, Champagne. B. Yeah. Give you close on his tail and stay afterwards. there. Bring some yeah, friends. I drove it. We'll celebrate. If you win machine. today, uh -huh. we gonna take you straight to paradise. Yeah. Okay, folks, get to your rigs. Time to crush some steel and bash some heads. Everyone ready? Three, two, one.
on his butt. out of his sails. Get on his butt. Stand here. The sun is down, but I hope you're still up. The king is dead. Long live the king. Following the tragic death of Saburo Arasaka, his son... Fuck! Catch up to him, quick! This is as CEO. Yes, 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 that very thing, Dory. You. Jesus, what, what the fuck you want? I, I didn't kill Dean! Zip your trap! He got himself killed for fuck's sake. Please let me go! Talk your way out of this. What's he talking about? Does it matter? He's just trying to save his skin. No, please, don't let her. I didn't kill her husband. I said shut your hole. Claire, wait. Want to hear him out? What for? What do you got to say, Samson? Dean tried to pass me just before the finish line, but he, he lost control. You rammed us! Even so, is that against the rules? It's this kind of racing! Is that true, Claire? Samson did what anyone would do? It doesn't matter! The bastard killed Dean! He has to pay for it! What do you want from me? You killed... like everyone! Claire, it was an accident. It's racing. I loved him. Loved him more than life itself. And now I'm supposed to let this, this, I'm supposed to let this shit go? That what you expect? Fine. Do what you will. Time to die, asshole. Wait, no! Your husband wasn't the saint you think! Out of here, V. Mm -hmm. All over, huh? Guess so. Your 
husband. What was he like? He liked to sleep in. I'm forgetting more and more. I'm scared I'll lose what's left of him. Won't forget what matters most. How he made you feel. Yeah. You all right, Claire? What? Why? Look pretty down. I'm not. To be honest, don't think I feel anything. It's okay. It'll get better. What will? Uh, everything, I guess. You'll move on. The only place I want to go right now is my liquor cabinet. Any desire to do it again? Team up? For a race, I mean. No, V. In fact, not gonna race ever again. Ever? Ever. That was something we had. Something Dean and I shared. I just needed you to get Samson. yours. What? You're giving me a rig? It's not mine. It belonged to me and Dean. But since we are no more... Take care, V. And watch those turns and you'll end up wrapped around a lamppost. <laughs> 